$5. I'm Mr. Lysak, and today we're gonna go dive the river from McKay Park down to Drake Park here in Bend, Oregon. Last time I was diving here, I saw a white bicycle in the river. Some criminal took that bicycle, threw it in. I'm gonna go rescue that bicycle today. This stretch of river happens to be a sunglass gold mine. In fact, that's exactly where I found these glasses a couple of days ago. Maybe the blenders are my new favorite pair. Don't you worry there, Kiara. Look at that. I got it. Not a problem at all. Snap that air in. Make sure it works. Find my regulator. Where'd my regulator go, Kiara? Oh, I see it. That's my dive computer. Okay, Kiara, I'm gonna need your help. Make sure that one's un untangled. Is it tangled up somewhere? The regulator is what you put your mouth into. Clamp down with your teeth. Like that. <sighs> Breathe. I always like when you smile with it, it looks funny. Like this? Yeah. Or when I try to talk with it in. Can you understand me when I talk with it in? Uh-huh. Oh good, there's a smile. <sighs> Just like that. Nice. Turn the GoPro on, throw our goggles on, and we shall jump in the river. The good news for me is that not everybody reads this sign. Is your gear secured? The answer is not everybody secures their gear. And for that, I want to thank you because without you, I wouldn't be able to come down to the river here and make these amazing videos for you guys to be watching today. Before I jump in the water, make sure you hit that little subscribe button, turn on that bell notification. That way, you'll be notified anytime I put up a new amazing video just like this one. Or like the gun video, or like the urn video, or like the iPhone video, or like the other iPhone video, or the Google phone video, or you get the hint. Make sure you subscribe so you can see all the amazing content and videos that we're putting up. Look at this, Kiara. I'm kind of like a flamingo. I can stand on one leg, just like that. Reminds me, do you know why flamingos stand on one leg? Because if he'd lift up his other leg, he'd fall over. Bum, ba -da -bum. See you down the river. <laughs> Are we dreaming? 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 Missing a red dinner plate, I found it. Yeah, is it uh, like a fiesta uh, wear? I'm a guy, I don't know. It's red. <laughs> and it's round. Are you missing a red one? Yeah. Well, we have a red one, so it's going to be a good one, guys. Yes, it is fiesta wear. It is my plate. My lucky day. And look at what great condition it is. It's fiesta wear. It lasts forever, even if it's underwater. I thank you so much. 
absolutely. <laughs> if you had found my lost diamond ring, would you have given that back to me too? One hundred percent. I do everything I can to return treasure to Great. everybody. Uh, anytime we're floating the river, and we see you out. We'll make sure we. Yeah, wait and for sure, it was nice meeting you. Well, thank you. You too. And we're gonna make our way to the other plate. side and uh, go throw some garbage away. <laughs> okay. This is a great ad for Fiesta wear, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Remind me of an underwater Jack Hanna. I hope to be a star one day. All right. I'll see you later. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. bye. Let's meet at this bench over here. There's a garbage can up there. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. Okay. It is crazy how much garbage we found in such a short span. We started just right there at the rapids. Probably another 30 pounds easy. With an inner tube, I found you some Speedo glasses or goggles as well. Word of caution, always watch your feet in the river. There is a ton of broken glass every time I go down. You need a shirt for any reason today, Kira? No, that's pretty gross. Sparkly shoe by chance? Need one of those? No, thanks. What if I found the second one? Then you'd have a pair. Uh, still no. When was the last time you saw an old transistor radio. That's pretty impressive. The cell phone that I found, it does have an Ed Sheraton ticket from 2015. It was in this Ziploc bag. By the way, Ziploc bags do not work for keeping your iPhone safe. See if it has any other identifiable information on here. Underneath the ticket, it does not. Pretty sure we are not gonna be able to dry that one out and find the owner, but we always try. We're gonna put that in rice and see if we can actually find the owner on that. Oh, Kiara, I found some human remains. Kidding. No, um, not oh, again. I have to pee so bad. That can wait. Wrap it up. Keys, keys, and more keys. I've got your keys. If you need them, I've got them. Are nickels good luck? No, pennies are good luck. My wife hates it when I keep the golf balls, but whew, we'll keep them anyway. Oh, I wonder how old this glass bottle is. The Bear Company, the medicine, you know? Is there medicine in there? Do you think that's medicine from like the 50s? I don't know, let's smell it. What if it's like cyanide or something? I sniff it and I just die. Just water? I don't know. You wanna smell it? No, thanks. I won't point it towards you, but that's a shotgun shell, completely loaded. If I go like this really hard, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> It could explode. Yeah, don't do that. Do we throw it in the garbage can or should we take this home? In the garbage can. There's kids watching that could get a bullet. Okay, I'm throwing a shotgun shell in here. See this? I'm throwing a shotgun shell in here. Don't play with it. We just advised the only kid that's watching here. We're getting back in the water. I'm gonna go see if we can find that bicycle and maybe another phone or two along the way.
need a wallet. I'll have you take this paddle, and then I'll meet you guys on the other side. For now, I'm heading back under. Hunting just keeps getting better and better. What did you find now? I found another iPhone, huh? a toy from, I'm gonna say the 19, early 1900s. I found a crutch if you need a crutch, a fishing pole if you wanna go fishing, a lot more sunglasses, and that wallet with $105. I didn't read the name yet. We'll see if we can track them down. I was just talking to the local kayakers over there, asking about this paddle. They said it is a ho hum paddle. Might get five bucks out of it. We're gonna go ahead and toss that little guy. What about the fishing pole? Should we keep the fishing pole? Who doesn't need, come on, who doesn't need a pair of crutches? Like what if I broke my leg today? Thank goodness. There's something in here, Kiara, I'm really excited about. We are gonna take this home, throw this on the record player. We might have to clean, how, like how do we clean this up first? Maybe a little vinegar and baking soda? Uh, yeah. It is going to be a surprise as to what kind of music is on this. How old do you think this is? How did it end up in the river? Like someone had a record player on their tube or what? Or somebody just went bloop, bloop, and threw it in the river like it was a Frisbee. If you had to guess what kind of music is on there, would it be like the Wizard of Oz, the Beatles, is it something new? Is it a Taylor Swift, Michael Jackson? I'm hoping all this. Well, let's take it home, clean it up, fire it up, and see what it is. Kiara's pretty awesome. She cleaned up the record for us, and it actually plays. Pretty sure we're gonna ruin this needle. Jam, shajam, and see what the actual song is. No results, try again. All right, let's go to this one. Look at that, how appropriate is that? High energy, kinda like this guy, all the time. I'm not gonna give up my new LP record that I found. You are welcome to head over to YouTube and listen to a version of High Energy on your very own, but only after this video is over. I think that these are, oh yes, those are kids' prescription glasses, or young ladies, or ladies, or young mans, I don't know. The truck that I am so excited about. Oh my. Have you what? ever seen, oh look, it even comes with a car phone. Oh, See that car wow. phone? Uh-huh, a car phone from the Apple Store. If you had to guess, what year is that from? 30s, maybe 50s. I'm gonna say the 30s. That's going in my garden, by the way. Okay. Oh, I found two knives today. Boom, boom. Oh. I'd be like the whole Ginsu. Woo! No, please, oh, look, please, I can. Oh, woo! please don't. Woo! Some of you don't even know who Ginsu is. Ginsu knives were famous for cutting open pop cans. Look, it doesn't even cut plastic. Some Ginsu that is. Before we get to the wallet there, yeah, see, look at that. Found a wallet, Costco card, cash. We'll get to that in just a minute. Always finding sunglasses. DNA, 
Do you know what that one is? No idea. How about Fort Knox? Have you heard of that one? Kind of sounds like Fortnite. I like these ones though. You like those ones? Looks pretty good. A or B? B looks a little bit better on you. Yeah, those look a little small for you. <laughs> what if I just push them back farther on my face like this? Better now? No, I think it made it worse. How's that one look? You look like a back in the day rapper. I was hoping this sucker would still be good. It is Ooh. no longer good. And last but not least, the most important thing that we found today was that wallet. And hang tight, we're gonna do everything we can to also track down the owner, see what they wanna do with their wallet. If they wanna keep all the cash, if they want to donate some of the cash, if they wanna donate all the cash, fingers crossed, they'll wanna share in the little bounty that we found today. So, check that out. In there is 100, look at, it appears as though crawdads, they almost ate the $100 bill plus the $5 bill. So there are $105 there that have been eaten by the fish or by the crawdads. I also have a Fred Meyer rewards card, California driver's license, see if we can get him back his wallet, plus I've got his Costco card, Hot Topic, Kohl's, has a Dutch Brothers punch card, but has no identifiable information in here for me to easily track him down. And if we can't get him back his wallet looks like the credit cards and the entire $105 is mine but as always we always do the right thing and see what we can do to track the owners down guess what we found John who's John John's the one that lost the wallet <laughs> this wallet right here with that hundred and five dollars inside I, want... I appreciate that, hey man. absolutely <laughs> I took the money out and I took a look at it I'm like those freaking crawdads underneath you know what lettuce they like more <laughs> obviously the bigger one the expensive lettuce those crawdads like there's your $105 back. <laughs> John was actually kind enough to say, hey Jerry, go ahead and get yourself some coffee or something on me this morning. I said, there is absolutely no way I'm doing it. Like, I would almost take that home and just frame that $100 bill. Like, you know. It, I know, this is a rare moment, <laughs> especially to get your wallet back. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, if you ever happen to have any ripped money, you can simply take it to the bank. The bank will exchange it. As long as there's 50% or more of your money there, they'll go ahead and take that money back. But you didn't know that. The rest of your wallet was uh, completely intact as well. Uh, I did dry everything out for you appreciate that. <laughs> tell me the story been driving without a license for at least a month and a half now had no idea to cash a check so I still have a check till this day at home so what John is saying is we just saved him three days of his life he doesn't have to go sit at a California DMV and how much is the check for that you get to go cash now three thousand dollars and that was going to rent <laughs> holy crap look at that we just put an extra three thousand dollars in his pocket that's just been sitting there for a month and a half that John has not been able to cash what happened yeah, that so, day? okay so basically I just moved been about six months ago. A girlfriend came into the town, flew her into Portland, went to go pick her up. She wanted to see town, so I was like, okay, everybody likes to float. So I was like, okay, let's go take yourself out floating for the first time. Kind of was like, okay, it kind of got a little hot, so I wanted to dip fully in the water. So I got fully into the water, not knowing that my wallet was in my pocket. Well, I thought I left it in the car, but it happened to be in my pocket. I didn't realize my pocket, well, my wallet came out of my pocket. And you mentioned on the phone yesterday that you actually didn't even remember taking it on the river. You no, know, I really did not. I thought I lost at Old Mill or uh, right there by Park and Float because that's actually where I parked. I eventually called Old Mill seeing if they had my wallet at customer service lost and found. Eventually I ended up calling Bend Police Department filing a little police report. Ended up going on Craigslist to see if anybody found my wallet. Ended up going on Facebook pages just to see if anybody found my, my wallet in any Facebook pages but no. So I eventually just gave up until your dad brought hope to me again. That's what we do. We bring hope to people. We get their treasures back to them because we're always finding treasure. Just just like John. I appreciate people like you, good people like you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I really do mean that. Though. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because of people like John, Adventures with a Purpose is possible. So John, we appreciate you <laughs> losing your items. That way we can find them and put on a good show and content for the rest of our YouTube viewers. I appreciate viewers. your hobby, man. Thanks for meeting up with us. No problem. As you guys know, I'm Mr. Lysak. Make sure that you subscribe, turn on that little bell notification. Why do you do that? That way you can get instant notifications anytime we put together a new video. We meet new guys like John almost every single time. We'll see you next time. Down. Do, do, do.